What's up everybody, it's Jonathan again, and in this video we are going to do another phaser question, and this time we are given a more advanced circuit. So here, the question is, given the voltage source, uh, the amplitude is 5, and we have a, a, it being a AC wave, and that's why we have this cosine here, cos uh, angular frequency times time. And given that the angular frequency is 200 radians per second, try to determine the instantaneous current. So the current is right here flowing through the circuit. We have the voltage source given what we have. And then we have three circuit elements, a resistor, an inductor, and a capacitor. So R is 20 ohms, uh, the inductor is 5 milli H, and, and the capacitor is 200 microfarads. So, given the ideal of phasers, we do know that we can use it to convert the inductance and the capacitance to its own value. So, let's do that, shall we? So, let's start on our inductance. So, our, indu so our inductance, uh, define our ohms, we use the equation J W L. So, given that uh, the angular frequency W is 200, so we have 200 here. What we get is J times 200 times 5 times 10 to the negative 3, being this is uh, milli. So we get that, and our answer to that will be 1. So we have J alone. Now let's go to C to our capacitor. We know that for our capacitor, our equation would be 1 over j times angular frequency times the capacitor and that will be equal to j times 200 times 200 times 10 to the negative 6 and our answer will be 0 0.04 for the denominator and now let's put that into the numerator so since our j is in the denominator we know by complex identity that would be equal to negative j and if we take 1 divided by 0 0.04 what we get is 25 so now that we got our inductance value in ohms and now that we got our capacitance value in ohms let's write these in the end term now we can add up the total impedance now our impedance as we know is equal to the resistor plus the inductance plus the capacitance and that we get 20 plus j plus minus j 25 and our total impedance shall be 20 minus j 24 now you may be wondering why did I calculate the impedance well what we know by Ohm's law that V is equal to the current multiplied by the resistor in this case since we have inductor inductance and capacitance that will be simply equal to the current multiplied by the impedance. And that impedance, well, we just calculated right here. So our current, that's what we're trying to find. We take the impedance and we move it to the other side. And what we get is the current is equal to the voltage divided by the impedance. Now, going and moving on to our voltage. What we do know is that our voltage is... 5 and our impedance is this 20 minus j24 now using the division of simplification what we're going to do is try to simplify the denominator out since this looks more complicated than the numerator so we have 5 divided by 20 j24 and what we're going to do is we're going to multiply 20 plus j24 in the numerator and in the denominator so what we get in the end is 5 times 20 plus j24 and then we get 20 square plus 24 square and what we get in, in the numerator is 100 plus 120 j 400 plus 576 we simplify them out 
by adding both terms in the, in the denominator and what we get is 0 0.102 plus 0 0.0102j. Now you may be wondering, is this the final value? Well, when it comes to circuits, what we want to do is define its polar form. This is the rectangular form, as I've mentioned uh, uh, before in my previous videos. So current is equal to 0 0.102 plus 0 0.0102j amps. That seems a little complicated for, you know, a student, right? So what we need to do is translate that to polar form. First, what we need to do is find its magnitude by determining the Pythagorean theorem. 0 0.102 square plus 0 0.0102 square. And then we square root that, and what we get is our magnitude. So our magnitude will be 0 0.1025. Now we have to determine our angle. So our angle, that is simple. Using trigonometric identity, what we get is tanverse angle, yet up the opposite, divided by the adjacent. And in the end, our angle will be 5.71 degrees. And we take that here, and there goes our current. And this is a phasor example given an inductance and a capacitance in a circuit. And the main message about this video is converting the inductance and capacitance into ohms. And then in the end, utilizing that knowledge, we can then calculate our impedance to then find whatever value current or voltage that the question asks us to do. I hope everyone enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.